So you're gonna want to, uh, you're gonna want to make a world. You click new, create new world, and you can name it whatever you want. But you've got to keep it on survival mode, otherwise this tutorial is not for you. I might make some more ones. And keep in mind, this is episode one. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. You just turn show coordinates on because we might use those later. So after this, nothing else really. I have friends on the Xbox app, so I just turn multiplayer off. You can keep it on if you want, but I might make a separate tutorial for that. Anyway, so Minecraft will generate your world. It'll say building train. I'll just skip it in a minute. I'll just cut the video. So you don't have to wait for the entire building terrain process. Because it takes a while when you have more than 100 worlds. So after this, it should start to load. Yep, you're stealing all progress bar. Yeah, just wait for that to go. When it's all the way at the full end, it will be done and all. So while we're here, we might as well talk about what we're doing today and this is a minecraft survival and today is just going to be hunger resource gathering and a little shelter to stay in and explaining some stuff that you probably need to know I'm, I'm, i think this is the part where i must cut the video i'm just looking on imovie because that's what i use so it's going to generate the world and we'll load in it's going to be completely random oh yep there you go so what you want to do first is you want to find a forest like I've seen over here. Stuff might not be exact with the voiceover. So you want to go to the forest and you're going to have to get some sheep. Because they drop wool and food and they're the essentials for surviving in Minecraft. So I go over to the sheep, you just tap on it a few times. If you jump then it does more damage but I ended up falling off a cliff. I placed down the wall by accident and it dropped, so I had to go get that real quick. So anyway, we'll just um, gather some wood. And there's a mountain in the distance, you probably can see it just near the birch tree, which is the white one, by the way. Yeah, so that exists. And we're going to go there to make our first base. And because there's goats in the new update. Don't go near the goats. Whatever you do, don't go near the goats. Or look at them, in fact. Because they will attack you if you're playing in the correct version of the game. Anywho. We just get the sheep. And eventually I'll just run over. Yep. i run over to the mountain. Which we're on right now. You'll see some snow, you don't need to go to that, I won't be going to the snow yet. We, I might make an adventure where I go to the snow. So we run into a ore called coal, which we can use to make torches and fuel furnaces and a few other things that are going to be extremely valuable for survival. I actually dropped down the cliff of that pick, so I had to go make one. You do as well, don't forget to make a pick. Uh, you mind... I mind this to get some cobblestone to make another pick. You don't fully have to yet, but you will to make the base since your wooden might break while doing it. So you want to get the coal because coal is extremely valuable like I just mentioned. We'll be making a base which will be temporary because it won't look too pretty it'll be in the side of a cliff and you're gonna make a furnace because they're very useful but I need a bit more stone first so I go mining and make the base eventually it'll be nice and there'll be a bunch of monsters that come out and try and get you which is why we're making the base straight away also if you if you're not following along with a tutorial when you do prioritize to get wool because you're going to need it to sleep through the night so the monsters don't eat you. I crafted the furnace. You just click where you want to place it. Like that. If you're on my MTP like I am. And you want to put the, uh, the mutton that you got from the sheep, if you did, in the furnace and the coal. Which will disappear because you're using it. And I make some torches and I put one in my base. Because even if you aren't out in the open... If your base is not lit up, 
monsters can still spawn in there as long as then as long as your base is big enough. I go I would say you should go get some coal, which is gonna be a coal montage. Yep, coal montage. More coal it's coal central, coal montage. Cause you're gonna need a lot of it eventually and we might as well get it out of the way while we can. You don't want the ender site, but I just have happened to run into it, so I already just got it. Yeah, so now it's gonna be a uh, two two screenshots of the tree. Like I dropped down one of the trees and Um now we're back at the base. Really what you want to do is like uh, cobblestone if you have any, if not you can, get, you can get some from in your base. You close it off, you have a one block window and you get the mutton out your furnace. You can break that block, I don't really need it. I might cut, yep, I just did. And now it's night time, what do you know? So to watch the sunset, I placed a, block, a dirt block, you don't have to do this, but I held my sword, luck to the sunset. And that's going to be the end of today's episode, if you like it. Please leave a like. If you don't, then don't do anything. Anyway, see you soon. I'll, I'll probably just do a bit more voicing. Oh, and yeah, if you got three pieces of wool, you would be able to make a bed. Just place that down once you've made it and sleep the night. But I, of course, didn't because I just didn't.